Hey guys, welcome back to the Burner Brother YouTube channel. Today, Josh and I and Lucas are gonna go price some antiques. We bought these, uh, what, a week ago? Yeah, about a week, a week ago. ago. Just, they've been sitting, we haven't had time to get back and price them. We've been so busy. Get them priced out and get them in the, on the floor before the weekend hits. Yeah, so uh, join us, we're gonna go back, we'll talk through the stuff as we're pricing it, why we're pricing it, the prices we're putting on it, and then uh, we're gonna restock some booths. So today is price and restock day uh, here with the Burner Brothers. We're starting to price stuff out. Josh is actually working on uh, some of his, what is this, Emily's? Emily's. His yes. wife's stuff. She has some things that she's wanting to get rid of. She has some ornaments, some angels, some Santa Clauses. I told her we take them out here instead of discarding them. Let's let's put them out for a couple bucks and couple let somebody bucks enjoy them. So let somebody enjoy them. And uh, yeah, so Josh getting those priced out for his wife real quick. <laughs> and then uh, Lucas and I and Josh are all three getting ready to price all of these items. Uh, this is stuff we've been picking up out of these estates. You've been watching us buy. Um, this is the one that, from the old farmhouse down here, the longer burgers and such. And then uh, here's a whole box full of lunch boxes and vintage, vintage metal and cookware, kitchenware, thermos stuff. So we're going to work on pricing some of this out. And uh, yeah, we'll talk about it as we price it and why we're putting what we're putting on it. So let's get busy. So Josh sure. has got these them. tags written out. These are all uh, art glass, art glass Christmas ornaments. And they've got some age on them. Uh, did these come out of Emily's grandma's house? I think they did. I can't swear to that. She had some stuff upstairs that we we're getting rid of, um, but they're they're just too unique. Yeah, to. I mean, like like look at this, all hand painted glass ornaments, and we're putting these out at two dollars each. Um, look at the size on them. So he, some of these are really big, and then some are like three dimensional. They got they got some indents in them. Um, I don't know a lot about Christmas ornaments, but but for two bucks each, um, how can you go wrong, right? Really cool hand painted glass glass norm so we'll get these priced out and then we'll start digging into the estate this is an art glass bowl we had gotten the the farmhouse it's marana the box it was in an original box and had a marana box but the box was just too far gone um uh, we we had the box there for it so we're going to price it um you know I'm, i don't know luke it's a big one but i want to keep it keep it reasonable let somebody make some money um what are you thinking what would you put on that bowl 65 dollars. just do it lucas said 65 that's what we're going with goodbye at the heart today what would you have put i think that's a good range I mean, this bowl at auction might bring forty dollars, but it could also bring one fifty. Um, so if we hit sixty-five dollars, somebody's got there's some room to be made, some money in that. Somebody can make some money. Uh, okay, so here's the next item. This is uh, Lucas, right up. You are a stack. Yeah, got it written up. I'll take it and put it out. Here, no, string tags. Um, Bust them open. This needs a string tag on it. This is a Fenton hand painted basket. Uh, let's show our viewers. It's got the original tag with it uh cute little basket and fenton's been doing well lately so you know let's let's go a little bit more and this is a hand painted piece it's probably signed by the artist most of the hand painted pieces are signed and this one is and it is signed by bill fenton so it's a bill fenton hand painted basket um needs i need to clean it up with the with the windex but i'm thinking let's uh let's shoot it out at like 55 55 yeah 55 dollars and let's roll with it wipe it down what do you got josh check out these dolphins oh no those i want to put those in an auction yeah yeah those, those are bronze those are bronze, bronze. Those are cool. bronze. i just think that if, we to... could put those in the mall and, and you know we could price them at 30 dollars or 130 but if we just throw them up at auction let's see where they get to because it's such a wide range that those could land at um you know and it really they could really sell for for 30 dollars or they might bring 150 you just at auction like we've seen today you uh, you just really never know yesterday the, the auction yesterday all right, so that one is done. Um, here's a Fenton opalescent uh, moon. What is that? The moon. I forget the, the name of that pattern, but it's for like a French opalescent Fenton piece. Um, let's go. What do you think? Fifteen dollars, Luke? Yeah, I don't like those pieces. Anymore. You don't like those? Well, we'll keep them reasonable. Fifteen dollars on that one. Fenton moon bowl. Those are <laughs> cameras have surprised me, Jacob. Yeah, cameras. Cameras. I think we should always sell at auction because uh, I have no idea what they're worth. I don't either. But they, I know some that of them go really well. We've seen that one we sold a couple weeks ago from Sweden bring six hundred dollars, and this one's a, a Fujika, and it might bring five dollars. Or I have no idea. So we'll we'll throw that up at auction. The stuff that I'm not real sure about. A lot of times I'll put it in the auction and just kind of see where it goes to because it's really hard to tell on some of this stuff. Yes. Yeah, 9700 Um This one here is a tumble up, a uh, wheel cut tumble up. Lucas, I'll let you clean this one off. Uh, spray that one down. Let me show our viewers real quick. This is a wheel cut tumble up. Um, it's got a nice engraving on the side. And this one here, I'll probably, let's price that at uh, 20 bucks. Let's give somebody a good buy at $20. 
Right, 700. So if you're back here and you're looking for where we're putting stuff at, this stuff will all be in building six. Um, if you come come out, it'll be for sale there. Uh, you'll you'll see it. Um, it'll it'll go fast because our stuff sells fast, and uh, that's what we do. We try and wholesale out and move a lot of volume. Is this both one piece? Looks like a Coca Cola bear, Jacob. You know what that's? You, you know why that's called a tumble up? No. So uh, what I've been told is that they will use these and put beside the bed at night. So you fill that up with water. Yeah. And then that's your, your lid, water. so it's called a tumble up. And then you can um, fill up the lid. Yeah, you, at, at night you just you can you got a glass to drink the water out of. Hmm. And so they're called tumble ups. And the glasses are the lids, so the cup is the actual lid. All right, so we got a little green uh, green face. Let's. Uh, I don't ooh. think you want a Garmin, do you? No. Hey, let's price this stuff. All let's, right. Yeah, I don't want to price all these tiny things. We'll send a bunch of this stuff off to another auction and just get rid of. So. Let's get those lunch boxes oh, out. Oh, how about these thermoses too? The thermoses, all that. That's all stuff that'll sell here. So here's an Aladdin lunch box. Uh, is there any thermoses to match these? Nope, it's too big to fit in that. All that here. This oh, yeah. one will go in. I think we have one. Do we just have the one? So yeah, we have a thermos, a small thermos, a tall thermos, and two lunch boxes. Oh, we got a whole variety of size here. This is getting fun. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay, so uh, now we have a whole a whole slew of plaid. Now we had we sold a piece of this last week, and the reason the lady bought it, she said, was because in her Barbie uh, Barbie's outfit there was a tiny little metal lunchbox, or it was a round one, but it was in this plaid, and so she bought the the plaid box, the plaid lunchbox we sold because it was in her as part of the original Barbie outfit. So it's of that era. It's probably these are probably out of this what seventies, early late seventies, early eighties. So we're gonna price these out. Ninety-seven hundred. You wanna price this out? Let's uh, let's start. Let's go from uh, like ten, fifteen, and twenty. What do you think? Okay. Let's do that. Uh, I got the ten on this side. Oh, so it's twenty. You ready to go back in uh, thermos? Go back in your memories. Ten. Back to your elementary oh. days. <laughs> Check it out. We have lunch trays from the old school here. Let's show these guys. Do you remember when you were Stack going through the lunch, lunch line trays. and you had a metal lunch tray? These almost, <laughs> this is funny. These look like maybe they're for prison or so war. They, like said, they look like 2100 here. I don't, I don't know. Are they all, what, what was your number? 2100. They're all 2100. So I don't know if that was for prison or if those are for um, school, but uh, we did have the right tray. I think these are older though, Josh. These, yeah, these are older than the ones we these had. These look like they're probably out of the 1950-ish time frame, maybe, but they're really cool. How much do you want to put on those? I don't know. Ten bucks Ten each. Ten bucks, yeah. Ten bucks each. All right. So you can see how we price stuff. We just try and uh, keep the prices fair. And something that you know, Mamaw has taught us, and that you've seen in our videos, is, is to price stuff reasonable and move it fast. And so, uh, yeah, that's our approach here. So let's get some more of this priced out. And we'll be right back. Okay. So we have the first box out. We got everything priced out of that first group, and Josh is digging into the next box for us. So uh, what do we got here? These need cleaned up, but oh wow. Check these, those out. these are dirty. Golly, dirty, dirty. Luke, you got a job now. Look, look <laughs> at the dirt on these guys. Uh, yeah, we can't sell it that way, but that's cool. Some kind of a lamp. Man, those lamps at the auction fit really well. Hey, tell them about thing. these. It's crazy this how much the, these bring. This is crazy what's going on. If you don't know the move on ceramic Christmas trees, um, we, Josh and I have sold a couple at $40 each that were bigger than this with no bulbs. And then the same ones turn around, a dealer in the mall bought them, and they're putting 85 to 125 each, and they're selling. I remember making these um, with Grandpa. Yeah, Grandpa made them all the time. We had a, we had a, a, my Grandpa had a kiln, and when we were kids, we would make all kinds of ceramics, and we would make snow houses and trees and all, all sorts of stuff. Now I don't know. Uh, I'm not saying that this is the exact same mold that we had, but uh, he he had all those molds all the time. And after school, we just stopped by Grandpa's. He lived. Uh, we used to walk by his house on the way home from the school bus, and. And uh, we'd sit there and help him, and he would, he would let us just play around and make molds with him, and uh, we'd paint it up and do all kind of stuff. But uh, these are selling really fast right now, and, and there again, this he'd one here. usually let us paint the defect ones. <laughs> yeah, he would, he would let us paint. We didn't know that at the time. They were broke. But, uh, yeah, they're selling. So we'll, we'll put, uh, I don't know, fifteen twenty dollars $20 on this one and just sell it fast to another dealer and let them make some money. This is a fun little bowl here. It's wood and there's a wax on it. Uh, we'll probably price that one at a $20, $20 range. Um, the stoneware crock, uh, again, you can find a lot of stuff like this in uh, any kind of farmhouse or any, any kind of house at all. These are kind of early 1900s. Um, turn of the century's got some sort of a mark, but it's like a, a crockery uh, mixing bowl. And we usually put from $10 to $20 on bowls like this. 
Uh, cake plate, we'll, we'll price that one probably at the 20, $20 $25 range. Um, we used to sell these for a lot at the auction. We used to get 50, 60, 70, but that, that market's down some. So I, I just, we, we'll put low price on it and then keep it moving. And then here's a fun one, another another brown a brown stoneware crock. And we'll, we'll price that one again, that 10, $15 range. Here. Oh, that looks a lot better. Here we go. Now that one's cleaned. Uh, what do you think, Josh? $20 on the lanterns? Yeah, let's just throw 20 bucks on that. And uh, yeah, we'll, we're gonna keep digging. So before we can price a lot of this stuff, we gotta make sure we get it we get it cleaned up. Um, and if you guys notice, you see I got a T hat on today and I got a T circle T shirt on today. So um, Josh's son and then Lucas last year, but Josh's son this year, play football on Friday nights. And this is- uh, My oldest. Josh's oldest last game. Yep. And uh, so we're going to go after we're done pricing here. We're going to go to the football game and uh, root root Deacon on senior night. It's senior night too. Yeah. What are you going to wear? You gonna, I'm going to wear this. You wearing this right here? Maybe put a tea hat on. Put a tea hat on. Okay. Maybe it's comes to shirt. It comes to shirt. So if it's still raining, put a raincoat so, on. Something else we do. Uh, jo Josh is an ex football coach too at the high school. He coached for coach me four years, three yeah. years, how many years? Five years. Five, five years of high school football coach. Lucas played football his whole life. And again, we, we shared this with you guys. He actually broke a record last year. Really proud of that. That takes a lot of work. And then uh, we also, we started a nonprofit um, called Tecumseh Strong that we, we actually help, uh, we try and develop leadership with our high school kids and middle school kids and youth program. Talk about a lot of goals, uh, goal setting and, and uh, you know, how to set goals, what, they, what it means to set a goal and how to work towards those goals. And we have three principles we talk about, uh, you know, goal, sacrifice, and truth. Something that Deacon just did was wrote an essay. Mm -hmm. We tell them why all of our seniors write an essay. Yeah, so this is really cool. Our nonprofit we started, every one of our seniors that go through our program are eligible to receive a $1,000 scholarship. Now, really neat about this scholarship is it does not have to be used to go to college, but it can be used to assist you into the workforce, the workplace. So we have a couple of our guys, for instance, that one of them wanted to be a welder, and uh, he was able to help buy a welding machine with his $1,000. We had one by uh, like a tool belt with uh, hammers, and, you know, yeah. all kind of stuff. Just all the accessories that goes with it. They, they all bought the all the. Check that out. Oh, that is a cool glass bowl. Here, this dirty, is dirty, this dirty, is dirty, dirty. This is another one out of that same estate uh, that was having those boxes that said Murano on them. Uh, that is just really cool. Now, Josh, I like this one better than that other one. I like the the two layers of. If you can see this, there's two Very layers of art glass, and you got too. the smoky color in the middle. And then all these colors out here. I, I really like this piece. All right, um, Jacob, blast from the past. You remember playing jacks? I do. We played jacks when we were kids. There are some jacks in here and marbles. I don't see the ball that we used to bounce, though, the little bunch of marbles. We'd shoot marbles a little, but usually we were playing we jacks. Play jacks, throw that rubber ball yep. up, and throw these out. How many could you get and grab them? <laughs> <laughs> we should price that as just one lot there, all the jacks and toys and uh, marbles. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do jacks. Well, well, Lucas Jackson doesn't have jacks. Look at all the marbles and jacks in that one. Mammal is There's some it. stone marbles in there. Here's a little cat's eye. That's cool. Uh, I think that's a cat's eye. It's really cool blue marble. So, uh, yeah, we'll price this whole this whole lot. As a, it's got a lot of clay marbles in there. And there's a big clay here. That's a fun marble. So, and with this bowl with all glass fruit. Let's price that one out. Yep, this is another one. Uh, now, so the marbles and jacks, Josh, I'm thinking, if they're probably going to say, what'd you put on that? I'm thinking like... Uh, 55 bucks for that whole room. There's, there's a lot, a lot of marbles, of people, in, lot of some marbles. old marbles in and there. And look too. at the, the, the old box as well. You got a cigar box at the end. That's, that's fun as well. And then uh, get, this is a basket of stone fruit and we'll price that. We'll probably put about uh, 45, $55 on that, somewhere in that range. Look at the dust on those boxes. Do you remember me grabbing that off the shelf and I, I couldn't, I was debating, should we take that or not? Let me show oh, the that viewers. Funny. The lid's I think on oh. sideways, but. The lid's on sideways, but we, st we haven't cleaned this piece yet. This is what I'm talking about with stuff out of this estate and yeah this was one of those i, I couldn't leave it behind because it's full of old vintage buttons but hey luke <laughs> we're gonna give you the honors on that one <laughs> hey he's got to start at the bottom and work his way up so he's he's our cleaning guy today uh, he's getting all of our cleaning done uh, red handle chopper so do like uh, 15 dollars on the chopper Doing no, I think we just make a box lot and send it out. So we're, we're here and we're pricing still and we're, we got those things we just showed you put out. Um, we decided to put the art glass bowl in the auction, the Murano piece, the, the, the one with all the colors. And then what do we got next? Well, 
Remember the photos that are on glass? Oh, yeah, these are all a whole box of them. Yeah, we'll, we'll auction these off. They're too hard to price here in the mall separately, but a whole box full of these these uh, photographs are all on glass. So we got a whole box of these. And this is how we discern sometimes, rather to put in the auction or not, is we'll, uh, is it easy to price? Is it something that, that's easy to sell uh, if, uh, for an individual, or is it easier to sell in the auction as a small group or a small package that can be shipped? And that one we will put in the auction so we can ship it out. Check that out. Uh, oh, that's cool. Uh, this is nice. This is a Majelica. It's dirty. It needs cleaned. Uh, it's French. This is a French Majelica. Look at the hand wire heart basket around that. That is so sweet with the hand. The, it's, all, it's all wire uh, all the way around. Uh, they wrapped it around by hand, that plate, and made a, a wall hanger out of it. That is just really cool piece of Majelica. So, Luke, let's put... Uh, Clean that up. I'm thinking we probably put 45 on that. Some um, tintypes. Some tintypes and photos. A lot of times on the tintypes, we'll put them in groups, put them at the auction again because it's so, they, they're so small and they take their tedious to price out separately. Um, but occasionally, though, if you're not familiar with tintypes, you know the old photographs on metal. So I, I have sold some of these for a lot of money uh, at the auction. Every once in a while, we'll get one in that has a. Uh, uh, like a rare scene in it. So what you want to look for on some of these ten types would be like something that's different. So the standard portraits, they're worth a couple, three bucks usually. But when you get something that's just got something different, and when I say something different, so maybe uh, a trade ten type where somebody is uh, getting a photograph with a uh, their 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 uh, tools for cement workers, or if somebody has some guns, ten types so of Civil, Civil War, War soldiers. Yeah, Civil yes. War. Silver War soldiers do really well, and then. I mean, every once in a while, you'll find somebody really famous in a tintype. Uh, those can be worth a lot of money. I was reading an article in Antique Week. Uh, I don't even remember who it was now, but the tintype, they said, was like a priceless piece. It was like a Billy the Kid uh, tintype. So, I mean, some of these old tintypes, you just got to look. Um, a lot of a lot of the morbid tintypes as well. It was it was popular to uh, take a tintype of your, your your baby if a baby had passed on. And so, uh, those are also desirable, but just look for stuff that's different. Uh, when you're looking for ten types, looking at ten types. All right, there, there we go. Look at the color in that. So Lucas has that cleaned up. Look at the bright blue in the middle there. Uh, this is a French Majelica. It's got the markings on the back. And again, let's let's price that at forty-five. So here is another ten type, and this is interesting. Is is how dirty this one is. We're going to get this cleaned up. I don't know what that scene is in there yet, but uh, ten type, good to purchase case. The case is nice, and we're going to clean it up, and then we'll show it to you. So we now have this cleaned up where we can see inside. We've got a lady and a gentleman here. The reflection's kind of getting us, but uh, really cute. The case is a uh, a union case, uh, daguerreotype type case, and again, that, that is just really nice. Uh, and let me show you the inside. So this is interesting. On the inside of this, you can see the old Union case label, 1857. Uh, it says, uh, I think it says copying Springfield, Ohio. Um, and so this is, it's saying where it's from is in Springfield is the, the, the photograph, one copy Springfield, Ohio. So that was uh, sent to Springfield, dated 1857. And then again, this is a foil wrapped. Um, this is a beautiful tintype foil wrapped in the original case from Springfield. And I would expect, like, we'll, we'll, go ahead, we'll go ahead and throw this piece up at auction, but they, they bring from uh, $20 up to $120, uh, somewhere in between. It's got just a tiny bit of roughness on the case. Not bad. It's actually in really good shape um, overall, but that'll sell in a couple weeks. Let me see that. All right, so we're going to put this load out. Josh is pulling it over right now. Um, we're going to go put it in the corner booth here in building six. I'm thinking you got that big table over there, Josh. Why don't we just spread it out and yeah. see how much of it sells. See what sells. Uh, most of this other stuff's out of that same house. So let's let's get it over here, Luke, and just uh, kind of display it on the furniture and tables. And let's kind of talk about it as we settle out the prices. Just, uh, so this was a blue willow tray. We ended up found we found that when we put it out for 20 bucks. And that's a that's a 150 year old piece. I used to sell those for like 75 to 100. Uh, little rose plate, uh, ten dollars on that one, twenty dollars on the flow blue platter, and let's see that bowl of fruit we ended up landing what forty five, forty five. And those, those cleaned up really nice. They're all hard, hard stone, uh, hand carved. Um, Lucas found this is a really interesting, uh, kind of like a mastered style bowl, uh, you know, hand decorated. We'll put I think it was twenty dollars on that one. Uh, the Christmas trees we had two of them. We just sold one off the cart, bringing it back here. So. Uh, the second tree here we got priced at 35 dollars and yeah as you can see we'll just get it all put out oh josh don't you have bulbs in that no thing no bulbing i tried it out and everything you tried it out couldn't get it to light up couldn't no figure bulb. it out so i opened up the top there's no bulb no bulb <laughs> <laughs> all right 
So this is the, again, this is the booth we've been throwing some stuff in and back here. Um, and then we got all the stuff we just priced all just laid out and uh, this stuff disappears pretty quick. Everybody knows this is a wholesale booth and uh, the stuff's gonna go out. Josh just priced the big oak table and chairs. There's six of these chairs with it for like 400, $400 range around there. 450 plus 10 percent. So yeah, you're at four, right at $400, uh, massive table and chairs. Uh, the hall table's priced at 185 Victorian Washington. After seeing that guy's dresser, we probably have this overpriced, but uh, that one's priced at 250 so that's around 225 on the actual price hammer. Uh, $85 for the Oak Singer sewing machine. It's still sitting here. Uh, one, 140 or 150 on the Oak dresser. Again, this stuff's all just reasonable priced, and uh, we try and move it out quick. We sell a lot out of this booth. We've only had it for about a, three weeks now. Uh, we got it with that estate. We had a dealer that had moved out and uh, we, we want to do something else with this space later. So we we just used it for a few weeks here as we're we're transitioning some space in the back of the building. Hey, Jay, did you see this is one of the, the foot table for the bench? Yeah, that was brought in by our dealer from Maine. Yeah. It's a it's a flip Step top, flips, flips up. Early table, that's a nice early pine table. So that was it guys, we were just pricing, showing you uh, kind of how some behind the scenes of pricing and restocking. Uh, what do you, any thoughts Josh, Lou, care of the viewers? I mean, you had to clean it all, it was dirty, <laughs> yeah, it was dirty stuff. Hey, we made quick work of it, though. Yeah. it went pretty fast. You can find all of it, building six. Building Go through six. to the showroom, make a right, it's back here in the corner. Lots of good stuff in building six. Yeah, and we, and we try, like I said, we try and wholesale our stuff, uh, sell it fast. So if you ever see anything with our numbers on it, uh, you know, we're, we're gonna sell it to you, make an offer. Don't forget, follow us on YouTube, or yeah, follow us on YouTube. Two channels, one of them is at Burner Brother Antiques, the other is at Heart of Ohio Antiques. Uh, daily videos, got lots happening. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow, bless you. See ya.